Hi everyone, it's Nightfighter22 here, and I'm just going to go through a quick game which uh, I played uh, Ritz on 836. Now, just to let you know, on my live chess account, um, my username got cancelled, um, so I'm now Nightfighter229, but I'm still going to remain on my YouTube channel as Nightfighter22, and I'm not going to upload videos on Atomic Joshi anymore. And another thing I'd like to say just before we get started is... A uh, the AVS that I use to capture these videos is non-active, so sorry about that little watermark that you might get at some points in the video in the center of your screen. So this is a match that I just played um, on New Year's Day, and I start off with e4, and my opponent plays e5, so f4, and then we get into King's Gambit accepted, King's Knight Gambit accepted. Now here he plays a very strange move, Bishop b4, and I reckon what he's trying to do is try and um, have a down this d4 pawn. But it's a pretty bad way to do it. So, bishop a3, and he plays bishop c5, bearing down on this diagonal. And this bishop would, uh, it would be good, uh, if, um, d4 couldn't have been played, which is, it's a strong center, and he just decides to retreat the bishop. Maybe bishop e7 would have been better, but, and now bishop takes f4. So the opening hasn't gone very well for him. As you can see, I've got five pieces at the starting positions to his zero. And all he's lost is his king's pawn. Um, and I've got very strong attacking chances. So he plays d6. It's not a bad move for his bad start. Uh, bishop d3 and knight f6. So he's getting back into the game a little bit more here. Uh, I castle. And he goes bishop g4, which is a pretty good move. And I just continue on with development knight c3. And he plays h3. Um, just basically blocking my bishop to get down to b4. And probably... Um, g5 uh, idea in the future. So h3 and then uh, bishop h5 goes back and I, I, I didn't think about playing g4 here. I thought with my attacking chances it would be okay to expose my king. So he plays g5 now doing the same with my bishop and I can play bishop g3 and he goes down bishop g6. Uh, but now I can play the very strong move e5 and this is really bearing down on his on his center here. So, um, he actually plays bishop takes d3, because he didn't really want to capture with this f-pawn, uh, and that was the only thing that was protecting the bishop, but now queen up to d3, and knight c6 is a little bit strange, because I can take his knight, um, so, uh, I do capture his knight, <clears throat> uh, and after he retakes with the queen, I can swing my knight up to e5, uh, which is, so this is attacking the queen, and of course he can't take my knight there, so, he plays queen e6, and I just decide to train off the knights, doubling up his pawns, and he makes a big mistake. Sorry, uh, no, he doesn't make a big mistake, because, or well, he does kind of, because he's supposed to move his queen out of the way, uh, but he shouldn't have really taken that knight, but now I can just swing uh, rook from a to e1, and his queen really can't move, so he just decides to take the rook, and I recapture, checking the king. The king moves over to safety, because that king really is exposed. Uh, probably mine is more exposed, but he hasn't got any quick attacking chances on my king. So I moved d up to d5, just trying to expose his king. And uh, he plays c5, which is a pretty good move. And I was a bit confused here. Uh, I'd like a comment on this, whether I could play on Basson or not. I don't think I can, but just to let you know. Um, and now I just play queen b5. Um, I'd quite like to get, uh, like, queen, um, what's it, queen c6 in. Um, and after he plays e6, I do just that, um, and he falls for the trap. He plays rook b8, and I can see he's not a very good player because uh, rook e8 is mate. So that was a pretty that was a pretty good game. Um, as I said, I'll upload a lot more onto Night Fighter 22, uh, and I really enjoyed it. And if you look out for me, I'm now Night Fighter 229, uh, but I'm not sure that I want to change my um, my YouTube name just because I have um, a few views now. But thank you very much, um, and I'll see you next.